representative of His Excellency Narendra Modi, President of India, please welcome to the stage Dr. Jitendra Singh, the Indian Minister of State for Space, Science and Technology. Please welcome on stage. Your Excellency, Isaac Herzog, President of Israel, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Zaid, Excellencies, distinguished guests, my dear brothers and sisters from United Arab Emirates, Namaste, greetings from India. At the very outset, let me say we are deeply honored that His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed invited our Prime Minister Shri Narendra Modi ji to this inaugural opening ceremony of the Abu Dhabi space debate. And although Prime Minister Modi couldn't attend it due to some unavoidable reasons, he has deputed me and I stand before you to address this August gathering on his behalf. May I also take this opportunity, ladies and gentlemen, to extend greetings on behalf of Prime Minister Modi, on my own behalf and on behalf of my countrymen, to the people of UAE on the occasion of the celebration of 51 years of the formation of this great country. As a country guided by the vision of its illustrious leaders, it also has a glorious future. Another laudable achievement of the UAE this year is the completion of the Silver Jubilee of its Space Odyssey with several golden milestones. Among the several pioneering initiatives of His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed is the Abu Dhabi Space Debate, which reflects his commitment and his vision for the space sector. Much of this vision, ladies and gentlemen, has already become a reality with the UAE sending a space mission to Mars orbit, thereby becoming the sixth such country in the world, demonstrating its prowess in the space sector. And on the top of that, the UAE became the only second country other than India to successfully launch a Mars orbiter in its very first attempt. I also congratulate the UAE for planning its second human space mission next year by sending four astronauts in the space for six months. I also congratulate the UAE for planning its human mission and at the same time the launch of Rashid rover the UAE's moon mission in very near future, and creation of the Space Fund, which are some of the milestones reflecting the commitment and determination of the UAE to excel in the space sector. These are, ladies and gentlemen, indeed big accomplishments, and I'm happy to share that India's active space partnership with the UAE dates back to the year 2017, when our PSLV launched UAE's first nanosatellite, NIF-1, meant for collecting environmental space data. Development of space sector is one of the priority areas for the leaders of both India as well as UAE. India started its space journey seven decades ago, and as President Isaac was mentioning, we have sought to make a mark in that sector. We started from a scratch and it is today acknowledged as one of the leading space powers in the world. A highlight of this space journey of India has been our thrust on indigenous development through dedication and hard work of our scientists, guided by the commitment of our leaders, which Prime Minister Modi keeps reiterating 
एज आत्मनिर्भरता और एन आत्मनिर्भर भारत और सेल्फ रिलायंट इंडिया द इंडियन स्पेस इंडस्ट्री टूडे इज रिनोड अक्रॉस द ग्लोब प्राइमरिली फॉर टू रीजन्स ए द रिलायबिलिटी बी द इकोनमी इंडिया इज प्राउड टू हैव द मैक्सिमम सक्सेस रेशो इन द वर्ल्ड फॉर इट्स फ्लैगशिप स्पेस लॉन्चिंग व्हीकल पोलर सेटेलाइट द लॉन्च व्हीकल और पी एस एल वी जस्ट अ फ्यू वीक्स बैक इंडिया पी एस एल वी लॉन्च एज मैनी एज थर्टी सिक्स सेटेलाइट्स इंक्लूडिंग फॉर कंट्रीज फ्रॉम बोथ द डेवलप्ड एज वेल एज द डेवलपिंग वर्ल्ड द लिस्ट ऑफ अचीवमेंट्स ऑफ इंडिया स्पेस इंडस्ट्री इज क्वाइट लॉन्ग द इंडियन स्पेस रिसर्च ऑर्गेनाइजेशन और द इसरो एज इज पॉपुलरली नोन हैज लॉन्च मोर देन हंड्रेड सेटेलाइट सो फार and has immense in-house satellite building capabilities for gsat earth observation satellites space based satellite navigation systems etc india has also developed its own gps which we call the indian regional navigation satellite system or irnss to abbreviate Besides the successful launch of India's Mar Orbiter mission in the year 2013, India has twice attempted to send its mission to the moon, known as Chandrayaan-1 and Chandrayaan-2. The third satellite mission to the moon, namely Chandrayaan-3, will be launched next year. Our other flagship space programs include Human Space Flight Center. or what we call in india's gaganyaan project under which we are planning to send the first crewed flight in space in the year 2024 ladies and gentlemen it gives me pleasure to mention over here that the indigenously developed space sector of india and the fast growing space sector of the uae have a lot of complementarities that can be harnessed can be shared can be supplemented the commitment of both the countries to abide by the international laws and regulations in use of the outer space brings both the countries together to work for a better and a more sustainable space industry in the times to come we want to ensure that the space remains a sector to serve our shared humanity or as president isaac was mentioning to serve the cause of the earth it is important to bring all the stakeholders together to discuss and deliberate about the space and in this regard the platform this one that we are meeting today has the potential to shape the future of the space sector in the world i am also pleased to share with you that in india we believe in the philosophy of what we describe as vasudev kundumbakam which means the world is one family this philosophy not only calls for bringing all the stakeholders together but also to share the fruits of our development with all of them it is because of our strong commitment to our values that we want to share the fruits of space development to reach all the countries and bring closer cooperation between governments and private entities in the space sector with this idea we have with the intervention and indulgence of prime minister modi recently brought certain landmark reforms leading to policy initiatives to tap the best of our research potential as well as participation of the private sector we have also been promoting development of startups startups in the space sector and this is meant to facilitate the entry of foreign government and for private sector entities as well in this regard india has recently established a dedicated organization called the indian space promotion and authorization center or abbreviated as in space which is tasked with the objective of hand holding our nascent private entities in the space sector i appreciate that the thrust of the abu dhabi space debate today is on building the role of governments in empowering space business 
and technology. The list of discussions in this debate on the role of the space sector to solve the climate issues, the bringing accountability to private and environmental commitments, threats to and from the space, to its political discourse and making the presence of private sector space innovation people driven that serve humankind are very relevant to our times and are also eye-opening topics and subjects, setting apart this initiative from any other such gathering in the space sector in the past. I must also say that these topics are very much in sync with India's own space policy initiatives in the last few years under Prime Minister Modi. I am convinced that the discussions and the debates in these two days will bring out synergies between governments, the private sector, and also the scientists for betterment of society and the world as a whole. We also appreciate that the theme of the sustainable development of space sector is also a priority for us back home in India as well. And before I conclude, let me reiterate over here that as a key global player in the space sector, India is keen to take its space cooperation with the UAE to the newer heights and to make maximum use of this August gathering today. I'm also confident confident that the Abu Dhabi space debate will grow in stature in the years to come and become a preeminent platform for discussions in space-related matters and also take India-UAE space cooperation into an entirely different and a much higher spatial orbit. Lastly, as India assumed the chairmanship of G20 very recently on 1st of December, let me once again welcome the UAE to the G20 summit and the G20 meetings during the period of India's chairmanship. And before I end, I wish all the success to the Abu Dhabi space debate and thank the UAE and its leadership for having taken this important initiative. Thanks once again and greetings to all.